Nerdwebs. Today is Question Tuesday here on 365 Nerds, where I get to answer real questions from real nerd fighters like you. So let's get started. Roll the intro! Hey, I'm Ashley. You may recognize me as Holy Musical Ashley here on YouTube. You probably don't, but you might. And if you do, well then hey, nice to see ya, thanks for tuning in. If you don't, then I highly recommend that you go and check out this channel right here where I sit behind my door and ramble to my camera. Hope you enjoy, and maybe subscribe. Yes? Yes. Moving on. So I really wanted to make this a singy dancy acty question Tuesday, but I got loads of questions about tons of random things from all over the internet, so I'm just going to answer a little bit of everything. What is your favorite style of music to sing? I like musical theater songs, like stuff from Grease or Hairspray or Mamma Mia. How did you become a nerd fighter? There are three main reasons why I became a nerd fighter. One, I remember my friend listening to her iPod at dance and whenever I looked at it, it would be a song about an anglerfish or this isn't Hogwarts or the universe is weird. And she would talk about Hank Green songs all the time. And I was kind of curious. Two, one of the first friends that I ever made in high school was reading Looking for Alaska by John Green. And every Monday during reading day in English, I would take it from her because she sat right beside me and read it. And three, Tumblr. I was on Tumblr one day last summer and I saw a quote that was from Will Grayson, Will Grayson, but I didn't know it was from Will Grayson, Will Grayson at the time. And I don't remember what the quote is now, but I googled it and I found out that it was from Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green. So I ran to the bookstore and picked up Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and I got this copy with a nerd fighter note in it. And I went to this little address and proceeded to watch about 20 Vlogbrothers videos before I went to eat dinner and then I went to bed and woke up at like 3 a.m. so that I could write John Green a letter. Fun fact. What's your favorite color? Purple. What superpower would you have and what would your name be? I like the power to shapeshift, fly, and read minds. And my name would be Little Mouse because that's my nickname around my choir friends because I'm small. And when you poke me, I squeak. If you could go on a date with any anthropomorphic version of any food, what would it be? Strawberries, because they smell good. Triple threat regarding singing, dancing, and acting. Do you believe that each of them can be learned, come naturally, or both? I think it's a little bit of both, but you have to have some sort of natural ability. Because if you have two left feet, or you can't match pitch, or you have the emotions of a slug, obviously you're not going to be able to sing, dance, or act very effectively because you can't do the basics. But obviously practice makes perfect and the more and more you do it, the better and better you get. Favorite role played so far and favorite song to sing or dance to? My favorite role played so far is Elena Newman, which is a murderer in this murder mystery that I did and it was my very first serious role in middle school. And I loved playing her because she is completely unlike me in every way. And my favorite song to sing or dance to of all time is You Can't Stop the Beat from Hairspray. What's your favorite type of dance and what do you wish you were better at? My favorite type of dance to do is tap. I love tap and I really wish that I was better at hip hop. What's the hardest part about being a performer? Auditions are nerve wracking because you don't know if you're going to get the part and you don't know if you did good and once you leave this place where you're auditioning there are a million things that you can think of that you've done wrong and you have to be really really good at taking rejection. Why do you prefer performing arts to fine arts or sports? First of all, I cannot draw, not even stick people, no. And I would like to argue that dance is a sport because it requires almost as much, if not more, physical activity than things like football or basketball. Also, can any football players you know hold their leg up next to their ear by itself without grabbing onto it for like four eight counts? Also, I really like the adrenaline rush that I get from being on stage and that I'm going to throw up feeling and then the running on stage and all of your cares just going away. Favorite musical? Hairspray. Do you have to go on a diet for any role? I haven't had to personally. I know some people who have and a lot of people who haven't. But the weeks before a show, I kind of try to watch what I eat a little bit and not eat so much junk because I want to still be able to fit into my costume. Do you have any tips on memorization? Put it into a song. Favorite YouTuber? I watch so many YouTubers, it's really hard to pick one. I really like Dan Is Not On Fire or Dan Hell, Amazing Phil or Phil Lester, Emma Blackery. Carrie Hope Fletcher, or It's Way Past My Bedtime, and Joy Graceffo was the first YouTuber that I really got into. That's all we have time for today. If you did enjoy today's video, please like it and subscribe to 365 Nerds. And if you want to see more of my beautiful face, then you can go and subscribe to youtube.com slash holymusicalashley. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!